Welcome back. This is your Feel Good Breakfast show on a Monday morning, the start of a brand new week, and it's been most inspired, and I hope that you've been enjoying it as well. Now, as author Neil Gaiman wrote about creating art, he said that the world always seems brighter when you've made, uh, when you've just made something that wasn't there before. And in the case of a certain 21-year-old ceramicist, making abstract creations with his hands is a way of communicating, understanding, and understanding the world and making it a little bit brighter than it was before. My love for ceramics started after just watching my mom working in her studio my entire life. She's also a ceramicist and I've just enjoyed watching the process of how she works and how ceramics is so out of your control. You create something and then the finished product is so different to how you started the production of it. Hi, my name is Ben Orkin. I go by Neb Necro and I'm a ceramic artist based in Cape Town. Ben's intimate, organic works of art are a visual instead of verbal dialogue. He gives them titles like talking about very private things in public and leaves the observer to fill in the gaps with their imagination. I make art under the name Neb Necro, which is my name backwards. I think it's just about myself defining who I am away from other people's expectations of who I am and what they maybe thought I should be, which I'm not. But it's also about keeping my personal life maybe a bit private because I can make things that are so personal and put them out into the world as not my own. It's nice to have that wall between who I am and who people see. I think for me creating art is an opportunity to communicate things which I can't necessarily communicate through using words. Sometimes I don't know how to speak properly but when I create objects I'm able to put feelings and things that I've experienced into objects which hold this meaning for me. And then I also enjoy looking back on these objects which hold these meanings and being reminded of these things that I was thinking or feeling. Ben, I'm very proud of, as a mother would be, but I'm exceptionally proud because he's incredibly true to himself. Everything that I've tried to instill in my children of being original, remaining humble, being creative, just growing in your own self, Ben has blossomed and blossomed over the years. So just in his gentle nature, the way he relates to people and the relationships and the people that he chooses to relate to, which comes out in his ceramics. It's a reminder to keep him separate to me and just to get to know him like that. The things I take into consideration when creating my ceramic vessels are I start with a two-dimensional sketch, which I then turn into a three-dimensional sculpture. And I've really got to think about the size of the piece if it's gonna fit into my kiln and the colour that I'm going to glaze the piece in if I want a shiny texture or a matte texture. And all of these things I've got to think about but also kind of just work out as I'm working through the process. I try not to plan everything because ceramics, you have no control. I always think it's so interesting how as an artist you sit alone in your studio and you think and you like figure out how you're going to do this and there's no one around you and then you put that, whatever you've made, into the world and everyone has an opportunity to look at it and to comment on it and either you can listen to what they say and respond to what they say or you can just like continue going forward alone. I think I definitely listen to what people say and I'm very interested how people see things into my work because my shapes are so abstract. So often people will see things that I didn't even think of but I've enjoyed the feedback that I've received which is nice. You can never know everything. Yesterday my mom opened a kiln for me and everything exploded. So even when you think you know what you're doing, you really don't and there's so much to learn. Kind of just a humbling experience. You make something and then someone else has the control over how it's going to finish, which is what the ceramic practice is for me and for most people. <laughs> 